Hi Maker, this video is part of a series of free videos explaining the different ways to contribute to Pokemon SDK and its community. In this video, we will talk about testing merge requests and how to set up a testing environment using various tools. Just as a reminder, a merge request is a code integration proposal written by a third party directly to the official Pokemon SDK repository. In order to be integrated, The code must be reviewed by Pokemon SDK maintainers and tested by other developers or starter kit users. So let's see how to set up this environment. First, download Git and install it if you haven't already. To do this, go to the official Git website and download the version that corresponds to your operating system. Run the installer with the default settings, then click Next continuously. Once installed, click on the search bar and type git bash. If you don't see it, you may need to restart your computer. Once git bash is open, type the command cd tilde slash dot ssh and then ssh dash kigen dash t rsa and press enter several times. You have just generated your kit key. Next, go to GitLab. If you haven't created an account yet, create one. Then go to Preferences section and then to SSH keys. Add your public key, which you can find in your other folder, and then in .ssh. Then open idrsa.pub with Notepad++ or any text editing software and copy its content. Make sure to strictly copy and paste the contents of this file. Also, don't add any space anywhere and delete any line breaks that might have been added when pasting your key. Now, unless you already have it, download VS Code. We will use it to switch branches and retrieve the content of the merge request. Download Pokemon Studio if you haven't already. You can find it on the Pokemon Workshop GitHub account. Open Pokemon Studio and create a new project. This project will be for testing purposes only so you can admit whatever you want. Personally, I will call it PSDK test. Once the project is created, go to its folder. Now we are going to clone the Pokemon SDK repository, which means creating a copy of the repository. To do this, open the command prompt in this folder. If your operating system allows it, you can directly right-click and choose Open in Terminal. Otherwise, click on the address bar and type CMD, then hit Enter. In the terminal, type git clone https colon slash slash gitlab.com slash pokemon sdk slash pokemon sdk dot git and press enter. Git will install the contents of the official repository into your test project. All you have to do now is create an empty folder named dot git here to tell psdk to load this folder instead of the one contained in studio. Once this is done, you need to open your pokemon sdk folder with VS code. To do this, Right click on the folder and choose Open with VS Code. In the extension section, search for GitLens and install the extension. Then go to the source control section. This section will allow us to easily switch between branches for testing. Now, let's see how to retrieve the contents of the merge request. To do this, go to the Pokemon SDK GitLab, click on merge request, then on the merge request to test. For example, I will take this merge request that I opened recently. Open the left link on this line, click on the URL, and copy this part of the link. Go back to VS Code in the source control section. Expand the remote list. Here, 
you will add the repositories of the various Pokemon SDK developers to easily find their branches. To do this, click on the plus button, add the developer's name, then add the repository link you copied earlier, adding .git at the end. Finally, to test a merge request, simply click on the developer's remote and then click on the, on the switch to branch button for the branch you want to retrieve. Finally, if any changes have been made and pushed by the developers, make sure to click the fetch button. If new commits are available, a small downward arrow will appear when you hover over the branch. Click on it to update. Now you can test the merge request by launching Pokemon SDK and making modifications to the project to initiate battles and obtain items or Pokemon. Make sure to check if the merge request includes any testing conditions usually written in the merge request description. Finally, if your tests are successful, all that's left is to approve the merge request. Thank you all for following this video. Feel free to ask any questions regarding testing in the comment section or on the Pokemon Workshop Discord server. We'll be happy to assist you. See you soon for the next contribution videos.